You know, if you really want to be a great surfer, you want to surf longer sessions, have confidence in bigger waves, you got a couple options. You could take a bunch of performance enhancing drugs, spend a ton of money and risk your health, or you could get similar benefits by training your breath. I'll show you how. So you've probably heard of Lance Armstrong. He was famous for winning the Tour de France six or seven times and then he had a massive fall from grace as his steroid scandal broke into the mainstream news and he literally lost everything. So this guy, he was sponsored by the United States Postal Service, a federally owned company. And so now he's being sued by the United States government for fraud, which is crazy. And I've always thought to myself, so the drugs he was taking, he was taking EPO. So that's actually something you naturally produce in your kidneys, but it makes you produce more red blood cells and more having more red blood cells allows you to carry more oxygen, allows you to have better endurance. But he was also doing blood transfusions. So what he would do is he would uh, draw out a bag of his blood and put it in the fridge. So then your body notices you have less red blood cells. So it produces more, it fills you back up. And just before race time, he would inject that blood back into his body. So he had more red blood cells, but then he'd also inject EPO. So he had insane levels of performance. Now that is a really, really massive health risk and could actually kill you, but you can have some of these benefits just by doing your breath training. So low oxygen training. When you perform low oxygen training exercises, your body automatically produces more red blood cells because it has limited amounts of oxygen. This is super important for you as an endurance athlete, a surfer, but because you're always on low levels of oxygen, you want to have more red blood cells. But a super interesting thing as well, when you are doing low oxygen training, your body also produces more EPO. It's produced in your kidneys, and this is actually what elicits that more red blood, that higher red blood cell count. So low oxygen training is super critical. And there's been lots of studies that show just doing a little bit of low oxygen training, as long as you're doing it every single day, it can increase the amount of EPO in your blood 20%. So you can get the benefits without the risk. And you, because I know that you want to surf longer sessions and I know that you want to catch better waves, all you got to do is restrict oxygen in your daily life. And one of the most important things I teach is lifestyle training. So I'll give you a quick example of how that works and how you can just sim simulate these low oxygen environments throughout the day in order to get your body to respond in its infinite wisdom and produce more red blood cells by releasing EPO. Important part here, you want to hold your breath on an exhale. Reason for this, if you ever seen those blood monitors that they put on your finger that uh, checks the oxygen level in your blood, the oxygen saturation in your blood, they're always around 97 to 99%. So you already have a ton of oxygen in your body all the time. So if you hold your breath on an inhale, even though you're burning oxygen, you don't burn a ton, you'll still have a reading on that. It'll still be pretty high. So if you exhale and you get rid of all your oxygen as you're burning, if so if you do an exercise while you have an exhale, you burn through your oxygen a lot faster. So when you have lower levels of oxygen, your body has a way more significant response. So holding your breath on an inhale while you're exercising is a great way to start eliciting these EPO and uh, blood changes in your body to give you more endurance. You don't even have to be exercising. You can literally do it while you're sitting on the couch like this. I'll show you how. So we're going to exhale and then hold on the exhale. Wait until you get a strong urge to breathe and then take a tiny inhale because your body's going to tell you, take a big inhale, get that oxygen in. But instead of doing that, just take a tiny little... controlled little baby inhales and exhales. That way your body stays hungry for oxygen. So you're going to still have low levels of oxygen. It's going to take you longer to replenish that. And so your body is going to begin to adapt. So if you have your favorite TV show, um, if you're driving in your car, um, maybe not driving in your car, you don't want to be holding your breath on an, an, an exhale. That could be dangerous, but you get what I'm saying. You can do it while you're walking. You can do it while you're sitting. You can do it while you're laying in bed. Anytime you want, hold your breath on an exhale and then stay hungry for oxygen. Your body will transform. It's really that simple. Your body is so smart that it will adapt to any environment that you put into it, even giving you performance enhancing drugs so you can surf better, hold your breath longer and have more confidence. If you want more information like this, I got the full course with all the lifestyle training, all the workouts and all the stuff that's gonna transform you from where you are to where you wanna be as a surfer and the bridge to get you there is the breath training. My name's Kyle Russ, the link will be here below if you are more interested in more training just like this. 
So if you like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you'd like to see more videos exactly like this.